I'm Tim Alcorn. Uh, I was born and raised in the Bay Area. Currently, I'm a pastor at Tekoa Church. I grew up in a Christian household. Um, been going to church my whole life. Uh, I've been a Christian my whole life. In the middle of high school in that area, it kind of changed for a bit. I fell away. I kind of deconstructed my faith, uh, deconstructed the Bible, um, and then I, I found God in a very real way after that. So I have struggled a fair amount with the sin wrath. It took a few different shapes throughout my life. Um, I, I grew up in a situation where I wasn't always allowed or encouraged or um, in a space where I could express emotions, which usually ended up to me bottling them up. Um, and I don't know if you know this, but if you bottle up your emotions, that's not healthy. <laughs> uh, and it led to a lot of anger issues. Um, and it was very weird. I remember, like, I got, a, I had a really good cap on it, except for when I didn't. <laughs> so when I would, like, in a relationship, if I got into an argument, I just got way too mad over the smallest things. Or uh, argument with a, a friend or a sibling or a parent, it's just like, it would go from zero to a hundred, like, instantly. That's definitely one of the areas where wrath, uh, took place, but I think something a little bit more relatable for everyone is uh, my wrath on social media. I used to take the approach of starting arguments on Facebook with people, and it wasn't always <laughs> the calm, collect, intelligent conversation that you would come to expect from Facebook. No, no, no. It was like, you're wrong because of this, but what about this? But what about this? It was never a good conversation to be having, but it led to so many lifelong friendships just destroyed over stuff that in reality doesn't matter. No one, no one person, you know, in the middle of San Jose can change the whole policy direction of the president. That You just can't do that. So like, why are we arguing about this? But we were. It didn't quite change for me until that broken relationships started happening with a family member. And then I really took a step back and I said, is this argument worth losing a relationship with a family member over? And it really made me look at just how easy it is to slip into that wrath state. There was a lot of uh, transformations that God was doing in my life that he started before I even realized he was working in my life. And, and dealing with the sin of wrath has been a very long process. It's, it's not a short one by any means. Um, but there is a real turning point where God started changing my life for the better and, and really working on me. The first step to dealing with wrath is just sucking it up and not responding. At least for me, the change in the heart came after. I had to walk the walk before I felt the difference on the inside. The action side, I feel like is something that us humans, that's a step that we need to take, is just responding better. The heart is something that the Holy Spirit changes. And so, you know, the Holy Spirit can kind of, can give us the strength and the motivation, the courage to, to change the actions. But in reality, that's, that's a choice that we have to take. You know, that, that's, that's something we have to do. Um, and then the Holy Spirit can then have a pathway to come and change your heart. It's like there's countless stories in the Bible where people wrong Jesus and he did not respond with wronging them back. Um, in fact, he knew what was coming and he could have stopped it if he wanted to, <laughs> which in my mind is the ultimate example of patience and the opposite of wrath, I'll say. <laughs> I see people from the lens of how God sees people and how God loves them. And if God loves someone and I don't, I am not walking in step with God.